welcome back children by now i'm sure you enjoyed yesterday's class and you're ready to have fun again today not just to have fun but to learn very important lessons can you still remember the lesson yes yesterday's lesson we talked about abraham right abraham stands in the gap do you remember your memory verse the memory verses, the two main memory verses. 1 Timothy chapter 2 from verse 1 to 3 and Ezekiel 22 verse 30. Can you remember? Can you recite them? God bless you. And then the memory verse for the day. I hope you can also remember. God bless you. Today is the second day of our Vacation Bible School. And our theme is Gap Standards. Connected to Jesus, connecting to Jesus. Today we want to learn about another man who stood in the gap. He stood in the gap by praying to God on behalf of a people, a very, very stubborn people, a very, very hard and difficult people. God was tired of these people. And this man himself didn't find it easy with these people. They were very tough with him. They were very naughty. They were very abusive they did all kinds of things to this man yet when this man heard that god said he would destroy them because god was angry what did he do he didn't say good for them god go ahead go and destroy them do you know what he did he pleaded he prayed he begged god say god don't destroy them don't destroy them don't let them be destroyed so he was praying he was praying he was standing in the gap. How many of us can do that? How many of us can beg others? Maybe beg our parents, beg our teachers, when somebody who is very stubborn is about to be punished. I'm sure many of us say, good for him. Let him get enough punishment. That's good for him. Moses didn't do that. He, he pleaded. He stood in the gap. He prayed. He prayed on behalf of the children of Israel, so that the Lord will not destroy them. Be ready to learn a lot from the life of Moses as you also become a better gap stander. God bless you. See you later.
doesn't matter if you're black or white. We will stand in the gap, gap standards. Doesn't matter if you're black or white. We will stand in the gap, gap standards. Doesn't matter if you're black or white. We will stand in the gap, gap standards. Doesn't matter if you're black or white. We will stand in the gap, gap standards. Stand in the gap, I will stand in the gap. On behalf of the land, on behalf of others. Young or old, black or white. I'm connected to Jesus, I'm connecting to Jesus. I will stand in the gap, I will stand in the gap. On behalf of the land, on behalf of others. Young or old, black or white. I'm connected to Jesus, I'm connected Hello, once again, children. It's day two of VBS. Hope you have been learning your memory verse. Do you still remember our memory verse from yesterday? Our memory verse from yesterday was taken from Genesis chapter 18, verse 23. Do you still remember what it says? How many of you remember? Okay, let's say it together. Genesis verse chapter 18, verse 23 and it says Abraham asked the Lord do you plan to destroy the good people with the wicked Genesis chapter 18 verse 23b now we'll do our memory verse for today and our memory verse for today is taken from Numbers chapter 14 verse 19 to 20 numbers chapter 14 from verses 19 to 20 and it says pardon the iniquity of these people i pray according to the greatness of your mercy just as you are forgiving the, these people from egypt even until now then the lord said i have pardoned according to your word remember this was called speaking with moses after moses pleaded on behalf of the children of Israel. He pleaded on behalf of the children of Israel. So let's take the memory verse one more time. Are we ready? Numbers chapter 14 verses 19 to 
20. Pardon the iniquity of these people, I pray. According to the greatness of your mercy, just as you have forgiven these people from Egypt until now. Then the Lord said, I have pardoned according to your word. Numbers 14 verses 19 to 20. Do you want to try it without auntie saying anything? Okay. Let's try it together, children. Did you get that? Okay. So let's do it together one more time. Numbers chapter 14 verses 19 to 20. Pardon the iniquity of this people, I pray, according to the greatness of your mercy, just as you have forgiven these people from Egypt even until now. Then the Lord said, I have pardoned according to your word. Numbers 14, 19 to 20. That's our memory verse for today, children. See you online tomorrow. Bye. Good day, friends. Once again, we continue our lesson for today and as we go into the activities of the day. And um, we remember our focus today is to talk to God on behalf of others. Knowing fully that God hears our prayers and He also answers our prayers. And today, in our activity, we are going to look at our fingers how our fingers can help us to pray for others. We are going to first of all look at the type of prayers to pray. Type of prayer to pray. You, you need to, your thumb is teaching us that we need to pray a prayer of love unto God to show our love for God by appreciating and adoring God. Also our second finger teaches us to pray for forgiveness of our sins. You know, just like Moses was praying for the forgiveness of the sins of the Israelites. You know, when they started grumbling about what is coming ahead of them. You know, and number three is to help us to pray for others. Now, after grumbling about the situation at hand, Moses, went, Moses and Aaron went to a place to intercede on their behalf of God. You know, Moses did not commit any sin. Aaron did not commit any sin. But the people, because of their grumbling, you know, God was not happy with them. God was angry with them. And Moses had to do what? Intercede on their behalf. Moses had to pray to God for God to have mercy on them and forgive them. Now, Number three, you need, we need to ask God to help us as individuals. We pray to God to help you in all situations, in your journey, you know, on this planet Earth, in your journey with God. Ask God to help you. That is finger number four. And finger number five, you thank God for answers prayers. You thank God for answers prayers, you know. And... Um, who to pray for? Who are we supposed to pray for? Finger number one is teaching us to pray for those that are close to us. Those that are close to us. Somebody want to tell me who is that person that is close to you? 
Is it your daddy or your mommy? Your sister or your brother? Your cousins, your niece? You know, your nephews? Are they close to you? Your friends in your class? Are they very close to you? If they are close to you, you need to do what? Pray for them. That is the function of our tongue. Teaching us to pray for those that are close to us. Remember, the people of Israelite, the people of Israel were very close to Moses. And Moses, because of that, interceded for them. And God answered his prayer. Now, the pointer, the pointer, our finger that we used to point. You, 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 are you the one making us in class? We used to point to others, you know. And this is the finger that is reminding us to pray for those who point us to God, who show us the way to know Christ. Who are these people we are talking about? Our pastors, our teachers, our evangelists, you know, our missionaries. We need to continue to do what? To pray for them, for God to continue to use them. And number three, our tallest finger, our tallest finger, which we will call middle finger. Now this one is, is to pray for those that are in authority. Those in government, President Muhammadu Buhari, uh, all the state um, governor of all the states, all the local government chairmen, all the CEOs of companies, that God will make them to make the right decision, you know, so that all of us will enjoy and be at peace with one another. Number four, number four is the weakest finger, which is the ring finger. You know, we need to pray for those that are weak in our society. Those that are sick, those that are pregnant, those that are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, those that are believing God for one thing or the other, those that are even believing God for what to eat and what to drink, we need to pray for them. The travelers, you know, we need to pray for them, that God will grant them journey mercy. So God will help us. And the smallest finger, the pinky, is to pray for ourselves. What is that thing you ask you need from God? Is the time after praying for others, you now remember yourself to pray for yourself. Then God will be able to do what? To answer your prayer. I pray if you follow this pattern, God will help you and answer your prayers in Jesus' name. We remember what Moses did. He prayed for the people of Israel. God was God was uh, God determined to do what? Determined to, 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 to kill them all because of their grumbling. But Moses stand in gap for them. And, uh, you know, Moses stood in gap for them and he, God remembered them and forgive their sins and never destroy them again. So you can also do the same. We all know what is going on in our country. It is our responsibility to pray for our country, Nigeria. And God will help us even as we do that in Jesus' name. Thank you very much as we continue Pay attention to the remaining part of the lesson, and God will bless us to deal in Jesus' name. Thank you. Hello, children. It's time for our arts and crafts. I hope you remember our lesson for today. Moses stands in the gap. And our Bible passage was taken from Numbers chapter 14, verses 1 to 21. But we had a memory verse from verse 19 to 20. We talks about how Moses stood in the gap for people. How Moses prayed. And because of that, we'll be having this, our prayer jar. This is what we're going to be making today. Prayer jar. God answers prayer. And right in our prayer jar, we have our prayer points listed. You can have as many prayer points as you wish, as many prayer points that comes to mind that you pray. So here we have prayer for good health, we have prayer for my church, we we'll pray for the sick, we we'll pray for good health, we we'll pray for our friends. So this is exactly what we're going to be making to remind us of our lessons for today. So I hope you're ready. We'll be needing a jar. You can have anything to put in your sticks to represent your prayer point. So we'll be needing a jar. We'll, I'll, I'll be using this, but you can use any jar that you can lay your hands on. 
We'll be needing some beads to decorate our sticks. We'll be needing a popsicle stick, our markers, a scissors, glue, and as many stickers you can also lay your hands upon, you can also get them to decorate our sticks. To tell us how our prayer is going to bosom as we pray unto God, as we stay in the gap for people. So let's go ahead. First, we'll be having our popsicle sticks, cutting some white papers. So we'll be having this. This is what we're making first. We'll have our popsicle sticks, sticking some papers on them where we'll be writing our prayer points. So I have some white papers here that I'm going to be cutting into small pieces that can stay on our popsicle sticks. All right, so let's go ahead. Just trying to cut out small pieces of paper that can stay on our sticks. All right, I'll be cutting a few more papers so you can always have as many sticks in your prayer just many prayers that comes to mind as many people you come across and you want to pray unto god too you do that you get to drop sticks daily when you discover what you're praying for just like our lesson for today has told us so we have a paper here so i'm going to be using my glue to stick the paper all right so i have my glue here So I'll stick it on the popsicle stick. I'm doing this so that while I write my prayer point, it can show. All right, so let me just drop it in my jar. Like I told you, you can always use any jar that you come across, that you can lay your hands on. You can use your, your sweet containers, your biscuit containers. You can use a cup or a jar that mommy daddy is not using again in the kitchen so just drop your sticks uh, while you're sticking your prayer points while you write your prayer points on your sticks so while i do this i'll also be using my beads i have some beads there if you have stickers you can also stick in stickers all right so i have some beads here tiny beads i'm going to put to decorate my sticks Make sure you're careful with your glue while you use them. Alright, so... In places where you cannot get... Where you cannot get your... You cannot get beads, you can use stickers. Just something to make it fanciful. You know, make it colorful, fanciful. You can use your stickers. Or you can even use your pens to decorate your sticks all right draw your beautiful smiley faces on them if you cannot lay your hands on beads or, or stickers you can also do this i'm going to have a very beautiful i'm going to give a very beautiful smiling face here which reminds me that when god answers this prayer is going to put a smile on the person's face all right so while we do this so we have a few of them already all right so we have our sticks here so what do you want god to pray what are you trying to pray to god for pray for a woman your friends maybe you have a sick friend and i can decide to say oh i want to pray for my friend so we have what prayer for my friend
prayer for my friend. All right? So I'll put it in my jar. I want to pray for my neighbors, so I can also go ahead to write prayer for my neighbors. All right? Prayer for my neighbors. Okay. I want to also pray for the unsaved. Moses prayed for forgiveness of sins for the people. So I can decide to pray for my friend that is not saved around me. So I'll pray for prayer for the unsaved. You can even be a bit more specific. Mention a few of your friends that you know needs prayer. You can decide to pray for your friend. I want to pray for Sam. I want to pray for Toby. I want to pray for whoever that is your friend. You can be a bit more specific. So here I'm going to be writing prayer. For the unsaved. All right. What again can you pray for? Just think about prayers as they come to your mind. Prayers as they pray, as you're in church, or as you listen to the news. You hear of some persons who are in trouble. I can decide to pray for the troubled. All right? Prayer for the troubled. I will encourage you to keep dropping prayer points in your prayer jar while you trust God to answer them. I have my prayer jar here that is filled with different prayer. So you also can always have as many prayer points fill your prayer jar, all right? So I'm going to get a piece of paper and write it on it. All right, prayer jar. And I have G-A-P, God answers prayers. Always remember that we're not dropping it just to drop, just for fun, all right? We're dropping it to remind us that God will answers prayers. All right. So let's get a piece of paper that can go around our jar. Okay. I think this can do that. Okay, so we have this. So I'm going to stick it on the jar. Make sure while you use your glue, you're careful. Just a little around your piece of paper. Okay. So I put it around my jar. So let me get my marker. Okay. So I have it written. Prayer. job and i'm also going to be writing my gap there god answers prayer to remind me that while i'm dropping it god answers prayers i decided to use different colors of pen to make it colorful all right so god Answers. Prayer.
So just like Moses prayed for the people, we are also dropping prayer points for people around us. All right, so you can always keep your prayer jar beside your table at home, on your reading table, beside your bed. All right, so, and I also have a very long stick there. All right, so I'm going to put this. I have my big stickers here. Like I told you, get as many things as you can to decorate them. All right, so I'll be using this on my sticker. Okay. Yes. Okay. So right and the uh, at the middle. Okay. So let's write a few more prayer points. I think I still have some sticks. Of, we have a bit on a few more prayer points. We can decide to pray against kidnapping. All right, so pray against kidnapping. Prayer for my pastor. So as many prayer points that comes to mind, prayer for my pastor, prayer for the sick, prayer for accident victims, as many prayer points that comes to mind. Make sure you write them, put them close by where you can always drop your prayer points to pray for people around you. All right. I hope you try this. Okay.
stand in the gap, gap standers. Stand in 